Welcome to the virtual property show brought to you by private property. In this video, we're going to look at the installment sale method, how to buy property with no upfront cash and no bond approval. Now, a few years ago, I read the book from Robert Kiyosaki and this little book called Rich Dad Poor Dad changed the way I think about property investment. Now, in this book, he said he went and bought a lot of property. But in my mind, I thought I'll have to get bond approval for all these properties. And this method that I'll share with you today can show you how you can buy property without getting bond approval every time you buy a property. I was fortunate enough to meet with Mr. Robert Kiyosaki last year in Santon, and that was a humbling experience. But when I met him and as I listened to his keynote speech at that event, I also realized that this guy has got a lot of tools on which he can make money from property. Now, one of the ways is the mortgage sale method, which is the traditional way of buying property with a mortgage. But then there's also the installment sale method, which is the method that I've been using for the last couple of years. And in this video, I want to show you the installment sale method. Now, when do you use the installment sale method? The installment sale method is best used when the outstanding debt on a property and the asking price on the property are close to each other, then you can use the installment sale method. Now, in a declining market post-COVID all around the world, you can now use the installment sale method on a lot of property because a lot of property, the people would like to sell that property at the price that they owe on the property. And in some cases, the outstanding debt might even be more than what the market is currently willing to offer them. And so now you can do the installment sale method on any property where the outstanding debt and the asking price are close to each other. Let me show you. In South Africa, there's no question, tough times ahead for South Africa. That's from Investec. Now, there's many articles like this, but I'm not going to focus on that for now. Let's rather focus on how you can use this installment sale method. The best way to understand the difference between the installment sale method and the mortgage sale method is to look at the comparison between the two. Now, first of all, a property has got a title deed because you can't move the property around. The title deed will state who is the owner of that property. Now, if the owner bought this property cash, then the title deed will simply say this property belongs to person X. But if the person who bought this property took a bond against this property from a bank, the bank will put an endorsement against the title deed saying that there's an outstanding bond on this property. Now, the mortgage sale method versus the installment sale method. First of all, when you buy a property with a mortgage sale, then the first thing that they will do is you will have to apply for a bond immediately. But the majority of South African people struggle to get bond finance approved. And this method can allow you as an investor or a first-time buyer to buy a property without getting that bond approved. Okay. So let me show you how it works. With a mortgage sale method, your bond, your new bond, will replace the existing bond. And to do that, they will then transfer the title from the seller's name to your name. And because they have to transfer that title that in the title deed, you have to pay transfer costs. Now, that's a lot of money up front, which you need to pay immediately. Now, also the bond cost, because you are now cancelling the existing bond and registering a new bond, there's legal fees involved in cancelling the bond, as well as legal fees involved in registering the new bond. And that must be paid up front. And then, of course, the risk of property ownership is high. If you, for some reason, can't afford to pay this anymore, then the bank can come after you. And so the risk is quite high. Now, if you lose your job in the next couple of years and you just bought the property today, then this can become a big concern. Now, with an installment sale, you don't transfer the deed immediately. So basically what will happen is the property will remain in the seller's bond and in the seller's title. You will just simply have an agreement stating that you will pay the existing bond directly to the bank and you will only get the title of the property transferred into your name as soon as you have settled that full existing bond on the property. Now, with an installment sale agreement, basically what it comes down to is you as a buyer will go to the seller and undertake to pay off the existing bond on the property, and the property will only be transferred into your name as soon as you have settled the full outstanding bond on this property. Now, of course, to protect you as a buyer, what the attorneys will do is they will endorse this installment sale agreement against the title deed. And this endorsement is a legal way of protecting you as a buyer 
so that when you settle the full outstanding bond amount on this property, then you will get title of this property. On the other hand, it also protects the seller in that if you, as a buyer, start to pay the existing bond, and at some point you default, then the property owner, the original seller, can get the full title back of the property, they can remove this endorsement sale agreement, and they can sell this property to an uh, outside buyer. Now, that is how they protect the seller and how they protect you. But let's look at the benefits for you as a buyer with an installment sale agreement. First of all, you don't have to apply for a new bond. You can pay the existing bond. That is a big benefit because not everyone can apply for new bonds in South Africa. The next one is you don't have to pay transfer fees up front. In fact, if you do the course with us, we will show you how you can only pay 50% of that transfer fees. And you only pay this when the property gets transferred into your name. Next one is bond cost. You don't have to cancel the existing bond and apply for a new bond. So there's no bond cost uh, applicable up front. In fact, if you sell this property later on, even before registering a new bond, then you can sell this property without ever having to register a bond on this property. And then the next one is the low risk. Because with an installment sale, if you as a buyer for any reason default and you cannot afford this property anymore, then you can simply cancel this endorsement and the seller can then sell the property to someone else. So that is how you as a buyer is protected with an installment sale. Let's say the outstanding debt on the property is 1 million and 50,000 rand. The highest that the market can offer is a million rand meaning the seller will have to pay in 50,000 Rand to get rid of this property. Now, most sellers who can't afford a property anymore also don't have 50,000 Rand to pay in to get rid of the property. This leaves a big dilemma for the seller. Now, we as investors will easily then take this property with an installment sale agreement, and let me show you why. Because the outstanding debt will not go away. It still remains at 1,050,000 Rand. But as a property investor, we will then pay 1,050,000 Rand with an installment sale instead of 1 million Rand with a mortgage sale. And the reason is because it is a win-win situation. Because now the seller doesn't have to pay in that extra 50,000 Rand. But we as an investor also get a benefit in the cost, the cash flow. Remember, Kiyosaki in his book says, cash flow is king. And that is what property investment is all about. So let's look at the cash flow in this deal. If I buy this property and I pay this 1,050,000 Rand directly to the bank, that means I don't need to apply for a new bond. And that has got a lot of benefits. First of all, I will undertake to pay this property within 12 to 60 months. And that's simply because it makes sense for the seller to do that. But also I will probably keep it for around three, four, five years, and then sell it before I reach the 60 months time limit. Then I will pay the municipal rates and taxes, the building insurance, the levy, the homeowners, the armed responses, maintenance, and any other minor upgrades to this property. So I will take full responsibility for this pr uh, property, and I will pay all the costs for this property exactly the same as if I owned it, except I will not apply for a new bond. I can simply pay off the existing bond. That's the biggest difference. Now, the difference comes in the cost. First of all, with a mortgage sale, bond approval is needed. This takes time and it takes affordability and a lot of paperwork. With a mortgage sale method, it, it's, a, it's a lot of red tape that must be done. With the installment sale method, I can get the attorneys to act on this immediately. The next one is 10% deposit. If you buy properties in a business with an installment, uh, with a mortgage sale, then you're most likely going to pay 10 or even 20% deposit. That's 100,000 Rand cash needed up front. Bond registration fees for a million Rand property is 30,000 Rand. Transfer fees is uh, 24,000 Rand. So the total upfront cost is 154,000 Rand needed to buy a property, a million Rand property with a mortgage sale. With an installment sale method, however, no bond approval is needed. Endorsement cost of the installment sale against the title deed is only 4,500 Rand. So the total cost upfront is 4,500 Rand. So mortgage sale method, total cost upfront 154,000. Installment sale, total cost upfront only 4,000. That's a 150,000 Rand difference, plus I don't have to get bond approval. That is why property investors and normal buyers 
want to buy properties with installment sale. Now, with the, the benefit for the seller is, of course, the 50,000 Rand that you can get more for your property with an installment sale. Right. Now, let's look at the next one. These are four properties that I actually bought with installment sales, and these are my own properties, and I'll run you through the numbers. The asking price on this was 450. I bought it direct from the seller for 380 after running the numbers. The 380 gave me positive cash flow from my tenant. So the sale price was agreed on 380. The outstanding bond was 245,000. So I paid in 135,000 Rand to buy this property. Because this property is cash flow from day one, the tenant will pay it off in the, the outstanding bond, which is only five years left within five years. And so basically, I paid 135,000 Rand for a property which is worth 450,000 Rand. And currently, my tenant is paying this property off for me, and I've got a positive cash flow. So this will be paid off in five years since the date of purchase, and there's about two years or three years left on that property. This one was in the market for 620. It's worth 620, but my numbers, which I ran using the spreadsheet, gave me the purchase price of 570. So I rushed over there. I offered them 570. They accepted my offer. The outstanding debt was 545,000. So I only had to pay in 25,000 Rand to buy this property. I didn't have to get bond approval. And this one had a positive cash flow because the tenant paid 8,000. The total cost was 77. And so my net income per month is 254. And so that gives me a positive cash flow. So basically, I bought this property for 25,000 Rand and my tenant is busy paying it off for me. And this one will be paid off in six years since the date of purchase. This one was worth 1550. Um, I made an offer of 1360. They accepted and that amount gave me a, a positive cash flow. So the sales price was 1360. I paid 1320. This couple immigrated to New Zealand. So they really needed 40,000 Rand to pay for the container. And so I gave them that 40,000 Rand. So I solved their problem. They were happy to, to get rid of this property because no one else wanted to buy it at this price. And so I advertised it subject to a tenant. And I got a tenant at 13,900, which gave me 165,000 uh, Rand a month um, net income. So the purchase price was 1360. Then value when I bought it was 1550. And the gain which I got when I purchased it was 190,000 Rand. Um, the, the tenant is busy paying it off and it will be paid off in seven years. In fact, this one I just sold and I took my profit on this property right away. So this one, for instance, the value was 680. I rushed there, I ran my numbers, and I made my offer at 570 because that would give me positive cash flow every month. So my offer was 570. The outstanding debt was 570. I didn't have to pay in to the seller anything. And so I got this property at zero cost, and my tenant is busy paying it off for me. So this one will be paid off in six years as well. And I basically got this property without paying anything up front and without any bond approval needed. So this is a great deal. So this is what we do, um, and I can help you to do this. If you want me to help you do this, let me know. So the way that we do it is we make money when we buy, we make money every month, and we make money when we sell. So let me show you how I made money on these deals. For instance, this last one, I made 110,000 Rand capital gain when I bought it. So if you just look at the numbers there, I bought it for 570, it was worth 680. So I made my money when I bought at, um, at 110,000 Rand capital gain. Although I didn't get the money, the property is worth 110,000 more than the purchase price that I agreed. Then the 90 Rand a month cash flow every month, of course, that is the difference between the rent income which I get and the expenses, the total expenses, which includes the bond, the levy, and the rates. So that's 90 Rand a month. And then, of course, this property will be worth well over a million. So you can see there on the graph, um, a million Rand, it will be worth a million in about eight years since the date of purchase. But it will be paid off, which is the yellow line, in around six years. So basically, this will be a paid off property, paid off by my tenant. And um, I got this property without applying for a bond. So what is the return on investment when you buy property like this? 
Well, the return on investment is infinite because you never had money in this deal. You didn't apply for a bond and you, you are getting a property which your tenant is paying off for you. And the scalability of this is, is incredible because you don't have to apply for bonds. All right, so that's what we can help you to do. Okay, now to become what they call financially free, for many people it's a very hard thing to imagine. But let me just show you this example. Let's say a property, a two bedroom, one bathroom, rents out for 6,500 Rand a month. The average income from a household that actually lives in a property that rents out for 6,500 a month is more or less 32,500 per month. Now, let's say you've got five of those properties and each of them pays 6,500 Rand a month net income, meaning you can basically live in one and rent out the other four and you can no longer have to work. But now let's say you can do 10 of those and you can get 6,500 Rand times 10, that's 65,000 Rand net income. Now to do this, all you need to do is buy 10 properties, get tenants in that pay the cost of the property and let the tenants pay it off over time. And that's how you do this. So we can help you to do this. And the difference for me personally came when I started asking a new question, because my question always was, why can't I do this? You know, you might sit there and say, but why can't you do this? And I'm asking you to change the question from why can't I to how can I? Because the moment that I asked a different question, how can I do this? Then the answer started coming and I can help you to do this as well. So these are my actual 10 properties and my goal is to have these 10 properties paid off debt free in six years. And what I can offer you is I can help you to do your first property with an installment sale. So basically the course that we are presenting to you can help you to do your first property. Once you understand how easy this is, you can then do your second property. And once you get it right yourself, then there's no limit. You can decide how many properties you would like to own. Now, let's just look at the financial crash and how big this opportunity actually is. This is one of my actual properties, which I bought, and this is the actual Lightstone report in information. So this property was worth 130,000 Rand more or less in 2000, and it was worth 650, 660,000 Rand in 2018. Now, if you just draw a straight line and you take average on average, then it's about 9% increase in a year for this property to grow. Now, this bubble there, 2008, that's when the financial or the real estate bubble, or the financial crash happened that everyone talked about. But as you can see, property prices didn't entirely crash. They just came down slightly, meaning that just before 2008, property prices were higher than just after 2008. And that is the opportunity of installment sale, because the moment that the market declines slightly, then there's people who got 100% loans who now owes more on the property and that's where you can do an installment sale agreement. And right now in a declining market, that opportunity repeats itself. So let's look at the big opportunity of 2020. Remember what we said, the South African economy will face its deepest contraction in 90 years. Now you can get a piece of this pie if you use the right tool. And right now the right tool is the installment sale method because you can get properties without applying for bonds. So this is my question to you. What would you like to do? Okay, now if you ask this question, why can't I? Then you will most likely go and Google this and you will find a number of search results. And you will most likely find a reason why you feel that you cannot do this. But that's not what successful people do. We look at the search results, but then we go ask the experts. And we don't trust everything that's written in the cloud. So if you ask the question, how can I? Then this is where we can help you. Now, the Property Academy is offering a free installment sale workshop. We're working closely with Bruno Samao attorneys, VZLR attorneys, and SSLR attorneys, and we'll give you this free installment sale workshop if you register on the link by following the link below. Now, you can also speak to me or any of the sales consultants about our online courses, which you can do to do your first installment sale agreement. But the big thing is start by taking action. Now, going back to this picture taken with myself and Mr. Robert Kiyosaki, you can see that there's a lot of differences between the two of us, but there's one thing in common. And you can see that when you look into our eyes. Both of us can see an opportunity and we are not afraid of taking action.
So my question to you is, are you ready to take action? If you are, please click on the link for the free installment sale workshop, and I'll be happy to see you on the other side and help you towards your first property deal, buying it with an installment sale agreement. My name is Jeroen, and I'm a proud member of the South African Property Investors Network. I've helped a lot of people, and I can help you as well. And I'm not afraid of taking action. So if you are ready, then I'm ready, and we can help you through the Property Academy with this free installment sale workshop. I'll see you on the other side.